Good morning, guys. We're here at the landfill here in uh, Simi Valley. We have an, uh, an end dump that, uh, that rolled over. It didn't take the tractor with it, which is a good thing. But, yep, they were dumping uh, dirt and uh, one of the sides gave away and uh, sure, the, the weight of the, of the dirt took it over. So as you can see here, it, uh, it bent these arms. I might have to uh, cut off the arms. I know there's going to be a lot of tension on those arms if I were to cut those off. So he might just have to take this. I'll probably cut it from there. The pin came off on this end dump right there where the cylinder goes. It ripped that little, uh, that little holder there. Just ripped it right out. But surprisingly, it, uh, the line didn't, uh, didn't tear or the fitting didn't break off. Obviously, this works on a PTO system. So I'm going to try to retract it to get the, the fluid back into the tank and, uh, and avoid making a hazmat mess here and spill all the hydraulic fluid. The smell is terrible here, guys. Well, this guy's just making a... Uh, clearing the dirt from the side right here. So I guess he's gonna take out the remaining dirt. Obviously the, the end dump came here for, for one purpose is to dump the dirt. But they will, uh, I guess it's easier for this, uh, this gentleman to take it out. I offered the guy to sky it to uh, to remove the dirt, but he says he'd rather take it out himself, so oh, whatever, I'll let him do it. Big old pushers pushing all the dirt. Tons and tons and tons of dirt. And trash. This dirt down here, well, trash is uh, it's not super super compacted. So I'm gonna have to put some cribbing down where my outriggers go just to have more stability. Uh, this is what brought this guy over. You could see how, where his uh, base was at. He's leaning off to one side and that's, that's what brought it over. Just a couple of degrees and having the height and the leverage with all that weight of dirt on his uh, end dump, clearly brought him, brought him down. I'm gonna have to cut those arms in the back. You have to cut the arms. Yeah. Just to get it out. Yeah, where those parts are twisted. Yeah. It's too much pressure on your on your tractor here, and it's putting a lot of pressure on your fifth wheel. Right. So I was kind of hoping to get lucky, and when I pulled on the thing, hopefully it would. Nah. There's too much pressure on the side. Right. That way, when I cut them off, I have to swing it over my rotator and attach them there. And I'll be I'll secure them to the to your end dump, right. and then I'll work on the hide on the hydraulic cylinder to push okay. it back in. So it's not gonna fall the uh, once you cut the the, the, the that arms. No, once you once I'll be locked in there. Oh, okay. Because it's still locked with your fifth yeah. with your fifth wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talking about the part that you cut. You see, it's, it's uh, where it's twisted. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have in there? Oh, it, huh? What do you have in there? Just lines, no? I think it's just lines, like electrical lines. Or yeah. You have air, electrical, electrical, and air. 
the airlines. Could be airlines too, maybe. Yeah, those are the airlines for uh, for the back. Right. For in the back, I'm not really worried because I have a T bolt, so we could cage them when it comes to towing. Yeah. I mean, whatever you feel is the safest way to avoid the spill, like you said. Maybe yeah. You put it right back into the truck. Without damage to the truck. Uh, even further than what it is. Yeah, that way we can make this drivable. Yeah. Yeah. But it don't look like it's damaged the truck. No, just twisted that right off. Yeah. If I have to check the your fifth wheel, make sure it's still it's still good. But yeah, aside from that, up to another yeah, but. another trailer.
All right, well, so I got these cut off already. Cut this off, cut this off. So this is clear from the truck. My next uh, task will be uh, to track this cylinder uh, and pushing the hydraulic fluid back into the tank to avoid a spill. And sometimes uh, the spills are, are unavoidable, especially when this thing lets loose. It usually takes the line with it. This time it, uh, it stayed with it. It is. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain it. All right, so now that's there. How can we chain this? Pulls in. I might just have to run a chain all the way across. <coughs> nope. Let's see. Oh, I could chain this down.
not concerned about it moving. What do you mean? Sliding up. I guess it'll stop right here. If it, yeah, I'll it stop. Slides, uh, it I just wanted to uh, to sustain this, so when I roll it over, it's not hanging down. Yeah. I don't want anything to impede when I'm rolling it over. Uh, we should probably get a little bit closer, no? What I could do is that we could we could disconnect the line. Is that pressure? Yeah. That's pressure right now? Hmm. So if I start pulling in, it should throw the liquid in, right? Or the check valve? Well, I have, to, I have to engage the PTO here. Well, engage the PTO and see if you could drain some of it so it release the pressure from it then, right? Yeah. Do so, that then. So I'll I'll turn it on and then I'll, I'll put it like if I'm bringing it down. Yeah. Downwards. Okay. But it's not going to just move because it's all you know wedged and everything, so it's not going to move. And I don't know if you disconnect that right now because it's every all of the, the fluids inside here right now. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not at the bottom. It's gravity fed, huh? So realistically, that shouldn't have any pressure then, right? It shouldn't unless the PTO is on, but I, I just don't know. Cause like I said, I would never raise up this thing and then try to take that off. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, if you raise it up, then that's yeah. going to have pressure. <clears throat> but the fluid should be all the way up here, no? Because it's dripping from there. Yeah, it's dripping from there. It's, it's, it's all inside the cylinder right now. So I'm assuming that it's pressure when if I wasn't disconnect it might just pop off you know what i mean but, but it, if you put your pto in it wouldn't it suck in the fluid it, it would suck in the fluid as long as it's yeah but what's in the line right now right so we could get what's in the line back in we could disconnect it right the only reason why i want to disconnect you here is so i can pretty much lift it you move up uh -huh. you get here and then we once we start um can we connect it back up i can okay. start pushing it in i get you i get you let me let me turn on the you know okay and, put it on the downward to release uh -huh. pressure and then we could disconnect and then I'll, I'll move over here okay we'll do that <clears throat> turn it off then and I'll disconnect it <clears throat> okay. is it off yeah watch out just in case it whips around. Good. Okay, if you want, you could be right here. Okay. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna have to move you a couple times. Because, uh, yeah, just, just put right here, pretty much. Put your, put your wheels here. Yeah, yeah. Drop your bags. I gotta reach, huh? Uh, 
No. It'll reach probably not not that far. No, that's not that. Far. We just have to unhook it from there, huh? Uh, well, let me unhook it from there, from your little cluster there, right. and then we'll move it. You know what probably be a better idea? Is if you park, because the line's on that side, if you, put, if you park here, and as I'm pushing it back, we back up a little bit, that way you don't have to disconnect it and move face it back. Yeah, face that direction. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm gonna have uh, the driver pretty much park right here. Forward. Get straight with it. Well, this way. Hold it. I'm gonna start pushing it in, okay? <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Okay, just where am I gonna connect from? Why do they shoot those up? Huh? Why do they shoot those up? Oh, to get the birds out of the way. Oh. Shoot the birds away. I need to put a, I'm going to run my line, but I need to run it this way. Because if I connect it just directly to there and I start yanking on it, it it's going to cock it a little bit. So I need as, as a straight of a line as possible. If that makes any sense. Uh, another thing I could do is either... It just stops right there. It that way that I need to go to the opposite direction and shoot something back in. Yeah. You mean if I start, if you start going out? Huh? If you start going out? No, that's what it you, was going out. Oh, you had it going out? Yeah, that's, that's how it was extending that way.
So what I'm doing here is that I'm So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm, basi I'm basically sucking in uh, the cylinder and to avoid having any spillage of uh, fluid, uh, I'm pulling it. But in order to do that, I don't need vertical lift. I need horizontal pressure. So what I did is I connected one of my chains here, my snatch block, and I'm running it down. Turn the wheel hard to the right. No, the other way, the other way. Hold it. Let me disconnect because you were supposed to be parallel to it. I mean, perpendicular to it. So you're going off at an angle. So you're going far. Unless, let me disconnect this one first. Hold on. You're fine right there. Just back up a little bit. Okay, go ahead, back up a little bit. Hold it. Turn off the PTO. Uh, Turn off the PTO. Turn off. Yeah. That's not all the way in the cylinder, though, right? I know. I got a. I ran out of line.
Mm. Yeah, I'm just applying pressure to it. So it's actually not that much pressure. It doesn't take that much pressure to suck in that thing. Once we have the PTO on, pretty much open up the check valves and retracts it. Uh, virtually just apply, applying a little bit of a uh, slight pressure. Good. Good. So we got it retracted all the way. See? Right in the pin. All the way through. Go ahead, turn off the PTO. I did. Okay. There you go. Minimal spillage. Yeah. It's fine, that way it doesn't just come down. Now I just need to secure it this way. So that way it doesn't swing out. It looked like it's secured. Yeah, from coming down, but see? Yeah, that, it's, that still moves. So I have to secure it coming this way. I could probably just put a chain from there because it's not much, it's just a swing. You want a water, man? Uh, no, I got water. You got water? Okay. okay. <laughs> cool. All right, now I'm going to start rigging so I can upright it.
What? It's a lot of steps to get this. Oh yeah. How many years have you been doing this for? A year and a half. A year and a half? What was you doing before this? I was a mechanic. A mechanic? Yeah. Okay. Mechan I worked on another company and uh, was doing light duty towing and managing, but I wanted to do the rotator, which is that. Yeah. So I came over here and I started training with them and they were uh, they helped me out along the way. How long, how long did it take you to learn it? Um, not that long, man, because they threw me right in there. Yeah. So, I mean, I was I was fortunate that they threw me in there because some of these guys are 20, 30 years and they never touch one. Uh, it takes math. It takes a lot of, I mean, um, you know, procedural stuff just to kind of get it right, double checking your rigging because, yeah. I mean, this one's empty, but when we do stuff that's uh, fully loaded and yeah. Or, or dry vans or any of that uh, sort of uh, recovery, then it's, it, it gets real intricate. Yeah, I can imagine, Science. Science, yeah. <laughs> Learned in the yard or you went to school? Uh, no, I, I learned with them on the field. Yeah, with them on the field.
we get a little bit closer over here. Pretty much lifted it off and uh, got it straight. I'm not sure who's coming, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a uh, echo or some sort of. Does the back hatch drop by itself or is it uh, controlled by air? It's controlled by air. Yeah? yeah? Is it the little line? Uh, actually, it's the one that's underneath the trailer. This one's made by this wire up underneath. Okay. But if, I, if you switch it back that way, it might drop down. This one? You're here in the air, right? Well, that's the, uh, that's the uh, air band. Yeah, I don't think so. But that's the switch to, to close the door. Okay. I have to get it. If you got something that can kind of bump it, it should. Yeah, let me get it with my bone. Yeah. 
to the back. Yeah, we are, but it's gonna be one of my other guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Okay. That's fine. All right. Thank you for your help. All right. Thank you, man. What's up, big? I already got it upright. Um, I had to cut off those arms. No, the fifth foot plate is still attached to his truck. It's locked in. Ah, you think I get it with the tow bar? I'd rather use, let me, let me see if I can get the tow bar on it and hook it up and get, bring it down. You tell him about that? Uh, yeah, I told him about it. He said, what, what, whatever you had to do to, to, to get that thing going. Yeah. Going. Yeah, it's not gonna come off. It's locked in. Let me give it one kick just in case. Yeah, it's locked in. That's not gonna go anywhere. You'll be fine. You can just pull it off with a forklift. Okay. At that point. All right. What's your name, uh, Darius? Demetrius. Demetrius. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you.
What's up, Echo? Echo. Echo. What's up, Echo? No, I'm in. Uh, I'm still in the landfill. So all you're gonna do is ju just go to go towards the address and go. Well, if you want, you could wait for me because. Right now I have it hooked up, but the um the I'm caging. I'm So now I'm in, uh, in tow with uh, this end dump in the back, using my tow bar actually, which we normally don't tow with uh, with the 88. We've actually we've never towed with it, so it's the first to use that tow bar. I never use it. This is the first time I use it. So I'm back at the entrance now, and um, I'm just gonna look for Echo. I'm just gonna tow it away to the destination. Obviously, uh, Big Flipper can't tow on the, out on the highway. Big no, no big no no. <laughs> but uh, sure, it was fun using that uh, tow bar for once. I struggled with it. It was really, really heavy get into those pins but should take it off right now and put some wheel chocks
Ready? Are you guys switching out trucks? That's gonna take it. Okay. Yeah. Why? What happened? What was that? Why? Oh no! I was gonna say if you guys were gonna leave it here, if you guys could leave it off to the side. No, no, the truck's right there. Yeah. The blue one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. How was that? Uh, it was difficult, man. A lot of yeah. I had to cut off the legs and everything, and then uh, to avoid the gentleman having to go over there, I hooked it up because this one doesn't tow. It doesn't have an underlift. Oh. So I had to improvise with my tow bar, which yeah, we never like, use. Like, yeah, well, that's because of the cables. Oh, I appreciate you, gal. You too, guys. Thank you. Let me pull forward, Echo. I'm going to pull forward. That's fine. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. I'm going to pick it up. It's empty now. There was a little bit of dirt in it. Watch your foot, Echo. I'm gonna have a, we trade it off now. Big Flipper is uh, pretty much empty. Now we're gonna have Echo right here. Hook it up.
Oh, you want to put it here? Oh, I'm sorry. So as you can see on this one, um, the bar here is relatively bent up up here, and this one's bent down. So in order for to compensate and level this out, because uh, even when we lift it, it doesn't have, hold any weight. It's not going to bend that little arm back. So we're going to use a tall fork and a short fork on that side to to offset the the discrepancy in uh, in height. There you go, Echo. You should probably flip it, Michael. Yeah, the other way. There you go. Retract in. There you go. There you go. Got it. Yeah, right? There it is. Cool. Nice and even. Take off the blocks. There. Okay, I'll hold it. Yeah, just no idea. No, that looks good. Because forward it can't go, so you just have to compensate yeah, for it going back. Yeah. So with this chain, it'd be fine. The moment you put your binder, you'll be fine. There it is. Perfect. That's good right there now, Echo. Echo is pretty much uh, hooked up, so like I said, all we uh, connected here was just uh, a chain binder across the rear, so that way it doesn't allow it to slime back. Obviously here we got uh, securement through our chain binder. And then it's up in the air, sufficient height. Now Echo's just removing his, uh, his blocks just to chalk it since uh, I ended up uh, caging the, the, the brakes. has his light bar ready to go and that's all she wrote echoes ready to go good echo 
Well, make sure you go up, Echo. The only reason I say that is because when you turn, it's gonna hit here. So that, that way it just clears it. A little more. A little bit more. Right there's fine. Yeah, because when you turn, that way this piece clears the uh, underlift. Right there, Echo, perfect. Nico just putting his uh, safety chains back on now. Okay. Looks good. Very good. Okay. Yes, sir. So we got some really collecting. He's collecting, yeah. Start dropping. Do you want the address or you have it? Okay. Thank you, Echo. See you later. Nah, who cares? Your truck stays clean. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Echo's uh, hooked up, ready to go. Take it to Gardena. I will uh, head back to base. Long day today, but we got it done. All right, guys, peace out.